Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a tutorial on these super cute pink long duck nails. So let's go ahead and get into it y'all. So I'm gonna be starting off with Not Polished in the color G02. And this is also a glow in the dark powder. That's what the G stands for. And um, I'm gonna start off with just a deep fringe. And y'all, I really like this new color. It's super duper cute. It goes with all skin tones. So that's something that I'm, you know, keeping y'all on point on if you want like a nude that goes with every single skin tone this is definitely the one for you and y'all i also have a not polish haul coming up i purchased from their valentine's day sale so i got like the barbie collection and a few other powders and stuff like that so i can't wait for that haul y'all so make sure you subscribe that way you guys can stay tuned for it so um I'm just, you know, kind of molding it and shaping it to how I want it to look. And y'all, honestly, not polished is like probably top two and it's not number two in my opinion of like my favorite acrylic powders, but it just never fails. It's so easy to manage. It's moldable. It doesn't set too quickly. Um, it's buttery it's soft like i just love not polished so if you guys are looking to purchase from them you should definitely do it and if you want to be like me girl wait till they have a sale going on like the other day i got 25 percent off and i was really happy about that um and i also got a collection so yeah and what i do like about a lot of their collections too some of them do come with the gel polishes that matches the acrylic powder so that's also a plus but I'm just patting it, um, molding it, using the tip of my brush to kind of clean up the cuticle area. And as it sets, I'm just pushing it side to side. And I'm going to go ahead and continue doing that. And I'll be back when I'm doing something else. y'all right, so now we're gonna go in with creations and this is a glitter from them and this is the glitter color 54 so y'all quick disclaimer I had this since I started doing nails and I never used it so I was like let me just use it because it's just such a pretty pink glitter now y'all when I was applying it I don't know why I didn't realize that it's just a raw glitter there's no acrylic powder in here it's just pure raw glitter so as I'm putting it on with the monomer and stuff it's moving around and I'm like it's just not setting it's spreading out but it's not setting like I could still move it around and stuff so if I hit the nail it's gonna come off then I was like oh my gosh this is just a raw glitter Jessica like you're moving it around like it's acrylic so then I just started spreading it out and I encapsulated this one then later on in the video I'm going to pour some clear acrylic in there and turn it into a glitter acrylic because we do not have time for this so I just spread it out because I already started and in my mind I'm like maybe it's going to set later but then I realized it was raw glitter but um now I'm going to go in with Pleasure by Not Polish and it's 105. Y'all, I messed up the bottom of the jar. I had it on top of the monomer paper, but uh, it is what it is. This is also a super duper cute pink by them. So I'm just applying it, dragging it down. And on this nail, we're going to do like an ombre. So I want this pink to kind of be like the star of the show. And then we're going to add some hearts to it. And yeah, I really like this pink. It's powdery. It's pretty. And y'all, in my haul, I got some new pinks too. So ooh, stay tuned. All right, y'all. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue doing the same thing. Dragging it down, patting it from side to side, and using kind of like the middle of my brush. And then I'll be back when I'm doing something else.
Okay, so now I'm going in with the G02 Obsessed, and I'm going to just apply a really small bead. Um, this is how I do my ombre. I do like really tiny beads and kind of drag it just so I can get that blended effect. And I also like to have a good amount of both colors on the nail. I don't like to have like my ombre to just stop near the cuticle. I want it to go kind of like to 25% of the nail just so that you can kind of let you know the nude play a part too so that's why i do mines like that but it, it's all preference so i just do little beads or whatever and then i drag them and i make sure they're not too dry or it's too wet so that it doesn't cover up like the bottom half of the nail too much but i just make sure i get like a really good consistency and then i just apply it sparingly little by little and i don't do like a super duper thick application because i'm gonna go on top of it and encapsulate it so that's something to keep in mind too but it's all about preference but this is just what i do this is how it works for me and y'all i'm just getting pieces of glitter out of um the nail because that's gonna mess up the vibes so i'm just doing that dragging it down um using the tip of my brush to kind of blend it towards the bottom and then when i encapsulate it it's gonna look like really blended now i'm applying these little hearts and y'all i got these hearts from aliexpress like probably like the beginning of me doing nails so four three or four years ago and um i just bought a bag that's when aliexpress was cheap y'all know aliexpress is taxing now but it was like a dollar or, or 30 something cents for the whole bag and it has like a thousand pieces in there so um i'm using that and i'm just applying them kind of randomly trying to move the different shapes and stuff adding the bigger shapes towards the bottom and then kind of making it go into like this ombre effect kind of like where the little ones is at the top and then the bigger ones is towards the bottom so i'm adding different variations of the hearts different shades and then i'm going to go ahead and adjust them and encapsulate this nail So this nail is going to be a full pink nail because this is the nail that we're going to go ahead and do bling on. So I'm just going in and applying like a thick layer of acrylic. This bead was kind of dry y'all so forgive me um, but not polish is that great where I can just pat it around and it'll still move and not be too hard on the nail. But um, I'm just going to go ahead and pat that to fix it and then we're going to go ahead and do the full application on the full nail and as you guys can see this is a way better bead. Um, I'm dragging it down, it's wet enough, it's not too dry. And we're going to go ahead and pat the sides and y'all my application is not going to be perfect just because of the angle that I have to hold the nails with my camera like my camera is overhead and it doesn't bend towards the angle where I could have gravity drag down the powder I have to kind of hold it up so that kind of messes me up sometimes so just in case she was wondering but um as long as the nails look nice at the end that's what I care about uh, the application isn't perfect but it is what it is I always say that but I'm just going into the cuticle area, applying that final bead just to kind of give it some height because I don't think I'm going to encapsulate this one. That way when I go in and um, apply the nail charms and stuff, it's on a really flat surface. Now I'm going to go back in with the creations, y'all. And this is where I'm going to mix some Mia Secret Clear into this powder because y'all, well, into this glitter because there's no acrylic in here and I needed to have some acrylic and you guys are going to see the difference in the application after I mix it. So I'm just tapping it to get all of the air out and make enough space for the acrylic to go in there. And I'm just going to eyeball it. Just pour some in there. Not a crazy amount. Just lightly go in and pour some. And I kind of did it to the rim. And then I was satisfied. Then I go ahead and close the container and I just mix it up. So I was just applying as much as I could. Just, that way I could kind of extend the use of the glitter. And I'm not using too much of the glitter. Because sometimes you can have too much glitter on a nail. I don't know if you guys get it. Like where the nail would just be too chunky. You can't even see it glistening. And I don't like that vibe. So yeah. So now I'm applying it. As you guys can see now, it's pretty much way more sturdier. It isn't just flying everywhere. 
um, I can really place it and it stays. I don't have to manipulate it too much. I can drag down without dragging all of it. So I just decided to mix it, but I really like that raw glitter. It's so pretty. Right, so now I'm going to go ahead and encapsulate the nails and then we'll be back y'all. We're going to go ahead and shape and file the nails and then we're going to go ahead and do the fun part which is adding the nail charms, period. <laughs>
Right, so now that I have the nails shaped and everything, and y'all, I've been using a hand file. I haven't even been using my e-file. I've just been hand filing the nails to get it smooth, and I've never thought that I'd turn to that girl, but I'm that girl now. So I'm going in with the Betty Cora Rhinestone Gel. It's the same as like the McCart one. This one is just a little bit thicker in my opinion, where I don't get as much gliding and sliding. So I really like it. They sent it over to me, so I've been using it. Y'all should check them out. So I got these diamonds from, I believe, Shein, and then the big ones, I got those from AliExpress, but y'all, when I tell you fire, and in the hauls that I've done, I've um, tagged them in my haul so that you guys can kind of see, and also these little cute little heart charms, I got them from Shein as well. And it comes like in kind of like a big old grid. So I'm just applying them, adjusting it, moving it to my liking, and placing it. You guys can't really see how it looks yet. But when it's cured and everything, and when I move the camera around, you guys are going to see. So I'm just moving some stuff and placing them in areas where I feel like you could really see the shape of the heart better. So I don't really cure as I go because I do adjustments as I place things. So as you can see, I'm kind of doing the same thing to one side that I'm doing to the other side to kind of have some cohesiveness and just make sure it looks kind of uniform. And I'm just adjusting as I go. And being that it's a gel, it's going to move around. So you're going to have to like push it back into place after a while. So I'm just adding little hearts and stuff. And then I was like, I don't like that heart right there. Let me move it. And then I placed this double heart and I was like, okay, that's super cute. And then I moved that small little pink heart to the opposite side. And then period, I was like, okay, this is really cute. So now I went ahead and cured it. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to top coat. So I'm going in with my not polished top. I'm going to go ahead and top coat all of the nails and then I'll be back for the final results.
right y'all so this is the final look and i absolutely love them y'all they are so pretty so girly um and just i love pink so you know this is like one of those sets where i'm like oh my gosh so cute but it was so fun doing these y'all i love every single nail but let me know in the comments which nail is your favorite for me it's the bling one and i like the one with the ombre and the hearts but y'all let me know and i'll see you guys next time be sure to like and subscribe to my channel bye